think the hardest part for me was going from like a family home and then being on my own with my son. And obviously because of the pandemic, he wasn't allowed any visitors. Um, I think living in temporary accommodation when you've got young children is a real challenge and often uh, families don't know the area, they don't know where to access support or how to access the things that they need. Um, and having a place that you can come where um, you can actually meet, meet other families who are in temporary accommodation as well, make friends, make connections, begin to get to know the area if you're new to the area. Um, or just get some support with living in a very challenging situation with young children. Um, I think it's really important. The early years are vital um, and, and the more that we can do to reach out to people who've got young children who've got challenging things going on then, then the better. The pod creates an environment where people can come once a week and meet other parents and have a little bit of a peer support centre, meet the home start workers and other professionals get advice um, and hopefully have a nice relaxing um, sort of couple of hour session where their children can play safely with the um, home start workers and they can have a little bit of support on a one-to-one -one basis. It's just a nice place to relax and have a coffee. The children can play if you have kids, they have toys out and and they're really good at getting advice, getting you right contact numbers to get things done. The guide has an awful lot of really good practical information. It's got a lot of information about how to contact certain professionals and ensure that you're, you have those contacts in the local areas. Um, it's got a lot of really helpful places you can um, go to if you need things like furniture and carpets and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely think if I had this from the start, it would have helped me.